Today is one of the most solemn days of the year. It's a day when we honor those who are no longer with us. Those who across generations stood to shield the rest of us from danger and from uncertain futures. And in doing so, they gave their lives. Today is a day dedicated to the brave men and women who gave their lives to ensure the freedom, protection, and survival of this very nation. Let's pray together. Holy and almighty God, creator of every people and place, ruler of all the nations, we gather here before you humbly and thankfully, glad of your presence amongst us. And together we acknowledge that you, and apart from you, we can do nothing. And that we need your constant grace and mercy as we seek to live in peace with those near and those far. But this year, Memorial Day 2018, has particular significance. It marks a century since the close of World War One. 50 years since Vietnam, but you see also today marks America's 150th anniversary of the establishment of a National Memorial Day. When our national agony that was the Civil War finally ended in 1865, 620,000 had lost their lives, 3% of the population. 3 million had served. In Hopkinton, 478 men out of a total male population in 1860 of 2,300 served in the Civil War. Many of you know how much Hopkinton has to, to connect to Memorial Day from the very beginning. That is such a blessing. Not too many people can share in that deep of a connection. So first of all, I'd like to say thank you for you, for your families, for your relatives, for everyone that's ever been involved in the military service, anyone that's ever had to give their life or give some of their life in support of our nation in building our nation. If it wasn't for you, we wouldn't be here today. If it wasn't for your families, we wouldn't be here today to celebrate the freedoms that we all get to enjoy. 